All right, guys. I want to make a video discussing rep ranges for strength. Um, apparently, most people think low reps are best for strength. I think low reps are best for getting good at low reps. I don't think low reps are best for gaining strength. I think you can gain strength better with high reps, to be honest with you. And I usually advise people to train with higher reps and to peak their strength. My whole opinion on strength training is you start off using as little weight as possible while still being able to make gains. And then you add just the right amount of weight every week. It's, it varies depending on how strong you are and how fast you peak and what supplements you're taking and the way you're eating. But you add a certain amount of weight, give or take, every week. And you rack up gains every week as you peak towards um, your max strength. So let's say you bench 225 for 15 and then you add 15 pounds every workout for 10 weeks or something like that. At the end of 10 weeks, you would have gotten a little bit stronger every week. And by the end of 10 weeks, you could have racked up, say, 40 pounds of strength gain. That's my opinion on what people should be doing, basically, for gaining strength. Um, or at least that's typically what I do, and so it's what I advise other people do. Um, low reps are okay. I just don't think people should do them all the time. I think they're dangerous. I think they should be kind of saved, and people should be using a little bit higher volume to build muscle and peaking their strength in a higher rep range. Um, so that's my take on, on rep ranges for strength. I think building strength is best done between something like 15 and 5 reps. And I think lower than that is, is good for peaking that strength that you built towards a max. Because obviously if you train with sets of 15, you're not going to be super efficient at maxing. So then you would want to incorporate those really low reps to just basically become better at maxing. Um, but I don't think those low reps are where strength is built, and I don't think they're where size is built. So generally, I advise people not really to train that way if they're trying to cover ground. If you're trying to put 100 pounds in your lifts in a year or something like that, I wouldn't have you doing singles and doubles and triples all the time. So that's my opinion on rep ranges for strength. That's my opinion on rep ranges for size even. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Subscribe to my channel.